This is a story about a game that has been told a million times, but fuck it, we're gonna do it too. Yay! Yeah, so she with Newgrounds. I, I forgot that this was associated with Newgrounds. Well, because it's, that's where it started off. This is like one of the first big, big indie titles. Yep. Huh? This is Meat Boy. Hello. This reminds me so much of Binding of Isaac already. And this is Bandage Girl, same developer. She loves Meat Boy. Yeah. Same art, even same art direction. And Meat Boy loves her. That's cute. This is Dr. Fetus. Hello. Hey. Nobody loves Dr. Fetus. Aww. And that's why Dr. Fetus hates you. Fuck you all. <gasps> Wait, he does flip you off in the Switch version. But most of all, yes, this is the Switch version. Dr. Fetus hates Meat Boy. <gasps> Fuck you hey. most of all. Oh. So he beat Meat Boy up. <gasps> and kidnapped Bandage Girl. No. Oh, no. So what are you waiting for? That's all the plot I need. So go save her, hero! Whoa! Oh my God. Okay, abrupt start. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Super Meat Boy, the Switch version. Because, uh, yeah, I just got that Switch version lately. It got recently released. And just in time for the upcoming uh, Super Meat Boy Forever. Hit it. Super Meat Boy! Thank you very okay. much, Mr. Announcer, sir. So, yeah, um, Super Meat Boy. Like, we, we all know the story. It, it was, like, one of the very first big indie titles released for the 360 way back in like the early 2010s and so and well it got again it got another it got yet another re-release about uh, just about as popular as the original release on 360 by the way uh, by the way people i suggest uh and now a reenactment of what we saw on the oh okay. <gasps> that's a that's super street fire but the, the, fun little fact is, fun little fact is all of the world things parody of video game intros. I think that was a parody of Super Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. I'm also the original Street Fighter, but welcome to the forest. Anyway, I uh, if any of you have heard of the movie, or for even those who haven't, heard of the movie Indie Game, the movie, watch that movie. It, it chronicles the making of this game as well as the game's grade and uh, fez. fez. And it's pretty fascinating. Especially when you get to rip on Phil Fish. <laughs> yeah. Don't See go how... saying that. Don't go saying that name, Logan. You cause shit to, shit to be destroyed. Wait, yes, we get to see uh. Phil Fish. It, we get to see Phil Fish in how, how he evolved into an asshole. Uh, I think to get an A plus, you have to be a certain time. Mm-hmm. You gotta be in, a, in the fastest amount of time possible. And um, if you, it, once you get a once you get a grade A ranking, um, you also unlock that area's uh, dark mode. Yeah. Mm. Right. So you have to get an A plus to unlock the dark stages. And once you get dark stages, you get stuff. Anyway, let's go for the A plus now. So, I guess as my ears are now telling, let's talk about the first big difference between this and all other versions released over 15 years ago. You mean? Yeah, that's okay. That okay, is, okay, okay that's close, 15. Close, close to 12 years. Oh no no no! Dude, oh, this game's been... oh wait a minute! Oh. We've activated our first warp zone, which takes us to a retro-filled. Um, Gauntlet of challenges. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah I don't. I forget when this game came out, but uh, these are basically harder, harder challenges. Well, uh, yeah. Thankfully, they're, thankfully they're not timed. All you have to worry about is just getting to the end and getting any bandages that are along the way. Usually, these special stages come with about two bandages. Now, for those that have been living under a rock for the past um, seven Ten seven years, years or so, seven, whatever. Uh, the bandages in this game help let you unlock additional characters to play as. Yes, Beat Boy is not the only playable character. In fact, uh, most of them are actually guest stars. Actually, one, oh. one, of my fa one of my favorite characters that you can unlock is, I think it's only in the PC version, but you can unlock uh, a Half-Life head crab, but it's a chicken. Yeah. Yeah, nice. you can unlock a head crab in the PC version, which yeah, is... Yeah, you can also... Oh, and then I think on the Xbox version, you can unlock the dude from Minecraft. Minecraft? Steve? Huh, that's random. Yeah, Steve. Oh. Oh! Steve, I love his eyes, just like... I love his eyes, like, god damn it. So, um... So, okay, so, okay, let's go on to the big difference, as I was previously talking about. What's the big major difference between this and all other versions? Well, starting with the PS4 version and onward, um, they had to change the soundtrack. Apparently, uh, Danny Baranowski didn't like working with them anymore, and he took him and packed up his music somehow and left with it. Mm -hmm. He took the rights to the original soundtrack with him, so they pretty much had to start from square one. Which, I mean, granted, I don't have like the biggest, uh, the biggest um, music appreciation for his the original soundtrack. I mean, not to say I don't like it. I, I like it. Mm. 
Heck, some state, some of some in some instances like the hospital or no, not or was it the hospital or? You also yeah. said that, you also said this level had a better theme, like more fitting theme. Uh, in the new version, yes. I honestly think the banjos here really help the four setting. But I, I I I love hospital. I love the end. I love. Oh uh, gosh. The boss theme. Oh dear. Wait, there's. Go ahead. No, what were you saying, Logan? I was saying like I like I like the original theme of the end, Rapture, uh, Carmini Burana, the hospital. Like, Danny Baranowski's work is still going to always have a nice. Like, uh, it's always going to have a warm place in my heart. Yeah. So the, for, I mean, yeah. For those of you that really took love the original soundtrack, um, this one might take some getting used to. I mean, again, in this guy's personal thing, and I actually think the replacement stuff isn't bad at all. But it's uh, still, it still manages to be fitting. All right. So for those who lived under rock, what are the controls, James? Basically, if you've ever played a Mario game, you're pretty much right at home with Super Meat Boy. You can jump with the A button, you can dash with the Y button, and, um, well, you have some serious slick... You have some, what I would call, meat physics. You literally slide on walls, which is going to be your biggest savior at some of these levels. Crap. And, uh, as you can tell, uh, I would say this game was definitely one of the ones that popularized the hard platformer genre. Yes, it did. Like, I want to say this is the one that started it. Which... Very important things to note are the fact that the levels are short and quick and get right to the point. Death is very immediately rectified, like, so you can just keep trying, it becomes addicting. Mm hmm. You have mm -hmm. unlimited life. Sorry, Bandage Girl. Warp zones are more important. This is a special zone. Check it. Ah! Ow! Who could that it be? Th that almost looks like a jump scare. Up in the sky! Almost. It's a bird! It's a Mario! <gasps> it's Bandage Girl! Charles Martinet! What? What? Commander Video! From Bitcher Run. Uh oh. Ugh, what can we do with these with these blasters? Whoa! That is a lot of colors. I wish I could do that in the game. Disclaimer: no. This, this, you cannot do that in the game. But now, yes, you can play as Commander Video. If you beat his challenge. And why yep. did you say? Why did you say Charles Martinet? You clearly have not played Bitcher Runner two. I am heard not. About the Okay, then watch our look at of it. Okay, for those who are for those who are uninitiated, Charles Martinet is the official uh, '70s TV show news uh, narrator for the Commander Video series. Uh, most mm -hmm. ma mainly two and the upcoming Runners Three. Yep, I even asked him. Hooray! And as you and as you just saw, as shown in that level, his uh, little quirk is he has a, a, a horizontal glide maneuver. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Gish, Alien Hominid, Nin from N Plus. Castle Crashers, I think that's Command a good one for you. I love how I, love how I can already remember them can, from there. Can't so. you get the uh, person from I Want to Be the Guy? Yes. Um, he is, the spoilers, he is like a final. That player. being said, unlocking him is a pain in the ass. Oh god, his challenge is hard. But but I mean, okay, I guess, because I, I guess I lied. Um, Me Boy definitely popularized it, but I think uh, I Want to Be the Guy is what really like first put it on the map. Oh, uh, that came, oh, that came before Me Boy? Okay. Yeah. That, uh, how about this? Uh, I want to be the guys what, what first like started hitting the scene and making it super big and more known. Of course, the Kaizo stuff is another thing. But I think actually Shumibu, now that I think about that was kind of a dumb thing for me to say. He's hey, before Super Meat Boy. Well, how else is he in the game? <laughs> but, but, but yeah, Super Meat Boy I think is definitely what made it more accessible. I think for people. I think it also helped too that uh, Super Meat Boy. I think I'd start on the well, the the Super Meat Boy we know and love started on the Xbox 360 when the whole yes. Xbox Live was still a very big thing. Yeah, and um, and for those wondering why it's a new grounds um, to catch the girls and Matt up, in case Matt's never done it, uh, this actually started off back in the days when Edmund McMillan was a really was a lesser known developer on made new flash games on new grounds, one of which was just called Meat Boy. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that want to try try it out but don't want to worry, don't want to have to set one foot into the new grounds website, um, they did release a they did release a collection called The Basement, which has all of his um all, his yeah, the basement um, collection. Mm -hmm. is a solo project, and one of them, again, being Meat Boy. I think my current favorite of his is either... Well, I forget what the name of the one is with the kid and the and the, and the uh, octopus planet thing. I don't remember either. It's, it's Gish, been ages since I last touched the big Gish was good, though, as well as... Uh, as well as get, I think it's called GTFO or something like that, with the... Uh, I oh! The anyway. <laughs> you just ignored the band-aid there. Yeah, who cares? Well, I'm doing it for a reason. I just want to get, I just want to get the grady out of the way. Uh, so what? So what do the, uh, what do the bandages get us? Characters. They unlock it. Yeah, they unlock additional characters. Well, I know they unlock that, characters. I know yeah. I unlock. I, 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 okay, I want. Well, to certain sure. certain characters, to be fair, like not all of them can be unlocked through bandages. Some of them you have to unlock through those warp zones. Like again, Commander Video. Mm -hmm. 
And for those wondering, sometimes I ask dumb sounding questions because I like to be the, well, James, what fabulous prizes could they win? But don't you know we talked well, about this? Oh, well, one of those. Sorry. Go ahead. One of those fabulous prizes you can unlock is quite literally a uh, a character hey. that looks ex almost exactly like Meat Boy, except he's slower and can do and can double jump. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. Just... I know it's from a certain game. I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, 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 crap! Uh, Osmo. Osmo, that's it. But I forget what game he's from. But I, but I have played. It's actually a really fun game. I've all. Oh yeah, I've also freaking uh, Fly Wrench. That's another great game I remember playing in high school. Fly Wrench. I can't say I've heard of that one. He's the, here's the weird. He's the weird little white. Uh, like bent thing that can like flap his wings and like di take different shapes and spin and turn different colors. Ah, gotcha. But oh, yeah, wait, no. look at this. Oh. But yeah, no, this is this. Is, oh god, this takes me back. I actually, seeing this game in action, Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, I th I'll, I'll want to say at least some of us here oh, at yeah. least have I, some. <laughs> this, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. But as you're seeing, but as you're seeing, big catch about these is that uh, you know it's, it's different graphics. The sound effect of those the sound effect of those blades hitting reminds me of Mickey Mania. Like that sound clip is used so much. Oh yeah, when, whenever you're whenever you're Yeah, I It's like a squishy know. spitting metal sound. Oh yeah, that being said, um during these bonus sections, you only have three lives to your name. Yeah, that's the hard part, is you have to Wait, beat three levels why consecutively. Are those platforms disintegrating? Cause that blade's hitting them. <sighs> there are collapsible platforms. Well, I, I know that, but does that affect Bandage Girl? Bandage no. Girl? No, no. no Bandage Girl, Band it's for it's all true. intents and purposes, Bandage Girl is invincible. It's you you gotta worry about. Oh. Not Bandage. Yay. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Mario Land 2 reference. Or no, Gish. Mario Land 1 Gish is a interesting game. It's basically like a harder Meat Boy. By the way, this I got I finished you saying if this is the end sometime. That's another good game. Oh, the, the end is nine? Yeah, the end, yeah, the end is nine. Gish is an Umi Bozu. Oh wow. A what? You can stick to the walls. Umi Bo oh. Umi Bozu is a Japanese uh, mythological creature. Oh, okay. it, lo it looks exactly like Gish, like Gish here. What do, what are the what are the Umi Bozo then? Uh, they're basically kind of, their names translate to water monks, I believe, and basically they're just uh, they're creatures Ow. that rise from the water and attack ships. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, but, characters. That being said, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of Gish, Gish or Gish, whatever his name is. So I'm gonna switch back to Eat Boy. I mean, I mean that's fair. That's that's another uh, cool aspect that every level is technically beatable with the person. Also, why did you switch to Meat Boy? Because I because I want to oh, get my the next day. Oh, I, oh, I get you. That's fair. He's a little slow. And, oh. Yeah, his sticking to surfaces is, is only helpful for certain situations. Otherwise, I would argue he's probably the hard mode of the game. All right, well, here we but go, we've guys. We've beaten all the levels, all with a great A. So let's take on our boss. Little slugger. Look at him all determined. <gasps> Oh, no. oh. What are you doing to the forest? <gasps> what do you think, stupid? Oh, no! Don't... Oh, no! <gasps> and, and even worse... He has a mech. With saw blades. Oh, Get your no. Get your <laughs> yeah, we should. It's, <sighs> it's time <sighs> for every single Captain no. Planet villain ever. No! So, the squirrels! Planet. The squirrels are running into the saw blades! <laughs> Squirrels, no! Stop running to the saw blades! We should be at peace! Squirrels, no! What are you doing? Wait, wait, those wait, those squirrels literally just ran through those saw blades! Oh gosh, they're dying! Oh. Alright, we'll just stay up here, we win. I'm not sure if you guys heard what I said. What did you oh, say? Sorry, what did you say, Why do you set the forest on fire? Because he's, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. That's, what, that, that's his entire character artist, he is a jerk. And he, because we hate him so much. Hey. He's gotta find reasons to make I. us hate him. Off they go. And off he goes. To the Woo! hospital. With his own set of wings, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But look at the death and destruction he's caused. At what cost have we saved the day? Not the squirrels! At what oh, cost? Not the squirrelies! Oh, good War is hell. No. These squirrels shall be remembered. War never changes. War. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Never will be. Hey, what the hell is this thing on my foot? Eh, yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, terrible! Sorry, I had a saw blade in my foot, I had to kick it off. <laughs> Nothing's hurt, right? Okay, cool. 
So, well, but with that said, yeah, this game... That's pretty much a trademark of McCollin's work. He has a very macabre sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. A little. Yeah. So, uh... I mean, I look at that planet, that planet Meat Boy's currently inhabiting. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do a bit of... So what are we gonna do? Are we doing dark mode? Yes, we are gonna try dark mode. Oh, I mean, heck, uh -oh. I, I got all those I got all those great A's for a reason. I figured, why not? Might as well show it off. These are harder levels. Mm-hmm. Harder no versions kidding. of the levels we've been through. And, well, thankfully, since the last few... The first few were pretty piss easy, let's jack them up a notch. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, do you think you're gonna... I don't think... Oh, uh, does this game handle achievements like the other versions do? Ooh. I want to say it does, yes. I could be wrong, though. Oh, that okay. actually does remind me. Um, the Switch version actually has a very nifty, cute little um, feature that none, none of the other um, versions have. It has, a, it has a multiplayer mode called Race Mode, where Aww. you and a friend literally go through all these level, try, levels, trying to beat them all. Um, and I think it's also split screen. Oh, that's awesome. I really wanted to show that off, but unfortunately my cousin wasn't available at the time, so I had to not make it online. Online. Yeah. Dang it. What is, I totally what is it with Nintendo not doing online so well? Whoa, oh, wait, so what the heck is this? What? Whoa! Bandage Girl was all glitchy. Uh... Ah, shit, the game froze. Welcome to a glitch warp, or glitch zone. These are even harder versions oh, of the stages. No. But, it, but fortunately, it's just one big stage you gotta beat. Mm -hmm. And, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's also optional. It is optional. You don't have to beat this. I think you can get. I think you get a piece of some puzzle if you beat it. I don't know. Yeah, it just it, it, it comes out of random anyway. So I think it's for the best that that this is all there is to you're, it. You're not going to win this one. Are you? you are oh, not going to win this not, one at all. Ah, oh, no. Not yet. Game. Well, not only is it random, but it's also uh, randomized, like, when it appears. Like, Banner's Girl won't always be glitchy. But, but if you want to replay it again, you can always activate it anytime from here. Mm -hmm. Once you find it. Once you find it. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our look at on... For the Nintendo Switch. I mean, again, if you've never tried this game for yourself, first of all, shame on you. Secondly, get the Switch version. It pretty much has pretty much the best of everything, save for the original soundtrack. Gotcha. Yep. But uh, and how much can they get it for? Uh, if I rem if I don't if I remember correctly, I think it costs like fifteen bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. It, it, it's a very full game, and uh, I guess uh, are they still working on that Super Meat Boy Forever? Yes, they are. Yeah, of course. Um, they haven't. They don't have. They don't have a release date for it just yet. But um, I assume they're going to release it sometime within the next couple of months. Okay. And hopefully, it's good. Despite despite changing it, changing shift to an auto runner. Yeah. But with, on that note, I'm James Extreme. Lucky Jack Twenty. Hi, Princess Lita. I'm Jordan the Cat 11. Ronnie J. Meat Boy! <laughs> <laughs> no, just go. Let's go. Fuck you all. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.